hello again friends welcome back to my channel god bless you so much for coming again to hear what the lord would have us know my name is sharon and if this is your first time coming god bless you please do well to subscribe do well to subscribe please subscribe <laughs> please stay with us and i pray as you stay the lord will meet with you and give you an encounter an answer to your questions to your prayers in jesus mighty name today i have this very brief word to somebody and i pray it meets you well this is just to encourage that one person doing the will of the father mm -hmm. you're doing the will of god and you will think that everything will be a smooth sail everybody's going to believe you everybody's going to trust you everybody's going to accept you far from it if you're that one person doing what God asks you to do and you're meeting some level of resistance or some level of opposition, it doesn't negate, it doesn't stop the fact, it doesn't change the fact that God still called you for that purpose. Mm. I'm going to read um, a verse of scripture to us from the word of God, just so you know that being called of God does not exempt you from either rejection or opposition or better still disbelief or unbelief from the very people you were sent to yes it happens sad as it sounds but it happens just so you know <laughs> so that you can prepare your mind for those who accept you for those the very few or the very many that will accept your assignments to them <laughs> may the lord just give you understanding part-time but this word is to encourage you that you are not alone. It has happened in times of old and it's still happening today. The very people you are sent to, most of the time will be the ones to reject you. The word is from the book of Acts, Acts 7. And I'm taking it from verse 25. <laughs> Acts 7, 25, it says, For he supposed... For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that God by his hand would deliver them. But they understood not. This is a story of Moses. Yes, the story of Moses. The Bible said that he went out when he was going to see his brethren. Maybe you read the whole of seven Acts 7 just so you understand this whole story. I just want to take that snippet from there. Moses was going to see his brethren and on his way, he met with someone else oppressing his brethren. And he, of course, we know the story of him killing the Egyptian and uh, burying him, which led to him running out of Egypt. Yes. <laughs> his people they didn't see that he was helping them. No, they didn't count it that he was helping them. They didn't even believe that he had any agenda in the future to deliver them. At that point, they didn't care anyway. That is what the word of God says. He said, but they understood not. The very people you are sent to help, the very people you are sent to preach to, the very people you are sent to deliver, most often than not will never believe or would not even have a clue that you are doing it for them. We all know the story of Joseph, popular story. His very family, brethren, his brother, sold him out. In future, he still delivered them. This is not your fault. It's for them to see, but they didn't see that you were sent for their good. But knowing for a fact that the Lord himself will glorify you in time to come. In that very same place. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep serving God in the capacity he has assigned you. In due time, in due time, you will see his hand in your life and men will believe you. Just keep doing your work. I pray this message meets you well. God bless you, friend. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.